Let's just give you a brief about it. You know, some uh, uh, well meaning development scholars, they would tell you that if you want to end poverty in Afghanistan or if you want to end poverty in Africa or for that matter in India, you probably need to follow, uh, you need to have more money, and by the way, you can save some money, and using that money, you can build infrastructure, and infrastructure will actually lead you to good governance. But then the question is, you know, where from these poor countries get the money? And the answer they usually give is that, you know, these advanced economies, they can probably uh, give aid to poor countries, and using that aid money, these poor countries can build their universities, they can build their infrastructure, and by building infrastructure, probably they can have good governance, and this good governance can lead to economic development. This is one thing. But then we have seen that, you know, many rich countries have given a lot of donations to poor countries. More than four trillion money has been spent so far to end poverty in poor nations. But as a result, you know, uh, we have more poor countries than we had in 1960. As human civilization itself, man, humans have been tinkering with tools, uh, you know, starting from the time when they were actually, when they started exploring the planet. You know the uh, stone age, you know the iron age, and the tools which man has been inventing, man has been, uh, you know, curating to, uh, you know, meet his or her needs. So innovation is not something new. Of course, the terminology is new, but the idea of innovation, of creating useful things, of creating uh, useful products is as well as human civilization uh, itself. Then the other question which uh, may, uh, when I give my lecture to mostly African and uh, Asian uh, universities, one question which I am being regularly asked is that, you know, we don't have money, so we won't be able to innovate. We don't have uh, rich laboratories, which you have probably in China or in America, so that's why we don't innovate. But look, you know, uh, if you look at the, again, the history of these big uh, MNCs, uh, the largest innovative countries around the world, uh, you will see they have started from garrets. For example, Silicon Valley started by one individual and then spreading to thousands of entrepreneurs and startups. And look at these two guys of uh, Google and uh, Apple uh, mobile phones. Uh, so it's not always that you know you need a huge infrastructure, you need a lot of resources whereby you can create breakthrough innovation.